For far too long, the federal government has neglected its responsibility for regulating the companies that provide criminal background checks used by nine in ten companies to screen job applicants. The damage done to job seekers by flawed and unreliable data, a common problem with such services, can be devastating. This week, the Federal Trade Commission for the first time charged one such background check company, Higher Right Solutions Incorporated, with violating the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which requires companies to ensure the accuracy of the reports. The lawsuit and the resulting settlement, which was announced at the same time, represent a good regulatory start but federal and state governments need to do more to protect people from this industry which has grown so quickly that no one seems to know how many companies there are. The Fair Credit Reporting Act was intended to protect consumers from records that background companies draw on for their reports. For example, the law requires background check companies to notify people in a timely manner when their data is being sent to an employer. So inaccuracies can be challenged or to ensure that the public record that is being reported is complete and accurate. Higher Right Solutions, which has been accused by job applicants of violating the law in the past, may have come to the federal government's attention because of a class action suit that the company settled last year. The FTC's complaint alleged that the company had failed to follow reasonable procedures to prevent obviously inaccurate information from being provided to employers and in many cases even included the records of the wrong person. The Commission contended that these failures led to consumers being denied employment or other employment-related benefits. The company has signed a consent decree that requires it to pay $2.6 million in penalties and adhere to several stipulations, provide consumers with information in their files in a timely manner upon request, promptly notify people who dispute their background reports about the outcomes of the investigation and follow procedures to update reports to reflect the current public record, including the expungement or dismissal of criminal charges. Most important, the company must submit to monitoring by the FTC. This case puts the industry on notice. Inaccuracy is a huge problem which companies buy records in bulk, either from the courts or from other companies, and fail to keep their records current. The standards in this settlement should be applied to all such businesses. The FTC and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which share jurisdiction, need to step up their scrutiny of the entire industry, which is playing a bigger and bigger role for employers in hiring decisions. Sudan and South Sudan ended a dangerous stalemate when they finally reached an agreement on oil pipeline fees last week. The elements of the deal should be carried out as quickly as possible, given the severe financial stress on both nations. Tensions came to a head in January when South Sudan shut down oil production after failing to agree with Sudan on fees for transporting crude through Sudan's pipeline. After declaring independence last year, South Sudan inherited most of the former country's oil fields. But the new country is landlocked and Sudan controls the pipeline that gets oil to market. The impasse had a devastating effect. Without oil, South Sudan lost 98% of its revenue and foreign exchange reserves plummeted. Sudan cut back on gas studies, sending prices for goods soaring and thousands of protesters into the streets. 
In April, fighting erupted along the border, reviving fears that the two sides were again sliding toward war. Their conflict from 1983 to 2005 killed more than 2 million people. Some 650,000 people have been displaced in the recent fighting. It was good news that Sudan and rebels allied with the South finally signed an agreement on Sunday with the United Nations to allow aid into rebellion-held areas.